Okay, hello. I'm back for trying the AnyBlend software with the camera. As you see, everything is working. So it is inactive. So we need to start with the calibration. I'm going to use this two flat screen. We go. So, pay on camera, reverse command, improve low, compute. There we go. <coughs> oh, yeah, I need to deactivate the camera from here so the software will take it. Here we go. Yep. So as you see, brightness is better than early. Okay. Should be okay. Well, it's not good. Okay, next. Patterns are okay. <coughs> so, the difference in the luminance this side is wall, and this side is textile. Um, that's fine. So proceed without interaction. There we go. This looks fine. Calculating with blending. So any blend is for using the window desk for blending. So for playing games on the screen, similar things. So to make it more. the way down. Okay. 
copy and there we go okay Okay, and the last dot, last corner. Okay. okay, it should be fine. Next. And it's window desktop, didactix, and OpenGL, and Apply. Yes. Okay. And now let's see our screens. And this is two. These two screens actually yeah, should be acting like one screen. Let me try like put this there. Yes. Or let me launch something. Oh, yeah, okay, if you like. Okay. As you see. It's one huge screen. It's not two separate screens like it was. Smooth and yeah. Okay, so normally now it's deactivated. There's no more edge blending as you see on the camera. When I do this, see, we got half of it hit and half here. And I just need to activate and ta da! It's one screen. Deactivating, tag, activating, tag, deactivating, activating, okay, deactivating. So it's working, so far so good. The uh, view, view is already blend for desktop, so yeah, you can 
actually use three or even more like four screens to have one big screen and if we use DirectX, OpenGL, Aero. Normally, if on the NVIDIA, you got that. Uh, what's called? Anyway, there's some cards that. Anyway, it's working. Okay, this is working. I'm fine. 